on this beautiful day here at Balboa Park Golf, a historic golf course established in 1919. Our club established in 1935. This is our 90th consecutive club championship, which is amazing. It's two more than the Masters. Balboa Park Golf, the club championship final round. And I'm here with my man, Joe Tinsley. Joe Tinsley, say what's up. We got an audience starting. Grab Hi, Josh. this. You're gonna... This putt here is going to go to his left. It's going to try and stay straight, but it won't. Well, looking pretty good, but I think everybody's leaving them short today. They are a little slower today. Josh looking for a par save here that he absolutely needs. Absolutely needs it. Mike here's got about 10 foot of her par. Once again, gonna try to work a little left. And there you go, short again. This is more or less an inside the hole putt, but he needs it very bad. Great putt, great putt, pretty straight. Little left edger here. Another par putt. Nope. Okay, here it is, folks. The back nine. 90th Balboa Club Championship. This is where we see it. This is where we see it. All right, here goes Keithan. I'll hook a little. That looks like it's gonna be perfect. And that's gonna be long. Over the right side of the trap should be a runner. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Beautiful drive. I've got Mike, I think he's still leading. I will check my board. Primo, great shot. I would like to add this little shout out to Lily, Derek's little princess. Beautiful little girl. Hope she's enjoying the broadcast. Josh here, he's got to turn it up. Boom, what a great shot. There's a coyote in the 10th fairway. How you doing today, Mike? Uh, kind of a nervy front nine, but I'm right there, so that's all I want to be. Where are you at on the tournament right now? Uh, even. Where's uh, Keith in it? I think he's even. I think. There's been a lot of like <laughs> stuff going on on the, on the front side, so, but I think he's even. I think Josh is probably like a couple over. It he's... wasn't our best stuff, but it's probably a little bit nervy. Tough shot, tough holes too. A lot of golf left. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's uh, yeah. Well, it's good luck, man. Nine, like last time, we'll just see kind of a face off here. Keithan is even, Mike Marin is even, and Josh is plus two. Quinn is currently a plus six. Looks pretty good. We'll check it out. A little bit of a wind in the face here. I think Josh has got about 105. It's got to turn and spin. Mm, a little bit right, but I'm sure he could make that. 
Go with Mike, just about the same yardage. This guy, it will just not make mistakes on you. You gotta get it from him. That looks long. Oh, that's a great shot. Great shot, spin it off the back. He's got about 10 feet. Josh pin high right, Mike above the hole about 10 feet. Keithan short right. Green. What's going on, brother? You no, know, just enjoying another beautiful day at Bobo. How you feeling? I made my first birdie of the day just now, so, you know. We heard, we heard. Well, you know, you gotta get excited when you can get excited. <laughs> you shoot 40 on the front, you know, you take anything you can get. It's nice to see a putt fall. I think Josh can come back. Okay. Well, these guys don't make very many mistakes. Here we go, I gotta go. Okay, play fast. Let's have a look at Josh's putt here. It looks like it's about a foot, maybe a foot out to the right. Pretty slick most days. Mike's actually got about 15 feet. Let's have a look and see what Mike's gonna do here. Mike's just left to right going down the hill. Keith and now fresh off the US amateur for birdie. Oh, he's lost it left, but a good lag. That'd be a good par. Good par to start the back nine. Okay, big Josh here. It's gonna go left on him. You gotta watch the speed. Looks good. Oh, just missed it low. Solid par, but he does need a couple birdies. He needs a couple. go this is gonna warn work to his right down the hill he's got speed oh, and he lost it to the right three pars so far we got Quinn now I'm standing here with a very special guest fresh out of county jail Lee Dub how you doing, Lee? Had a good day today. Shot 80, fun, no hard feelings. How's it feel to be back out at the club temporarily? It feels great. Today's yeah. the last day till the end of October 31st. We're all sorry to hear that. <laughs> We're sorry to hear that. All right, that's three pars and one bogey. On to the 11th hole here. 384, par four. Wind into us and a little off the left, as usual. Swirls around this whole back nine. We have Keith in up first. Looks like he's got a driver. That is pulled left, not cutting. Well, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like a box of chocolates over there. It's about 70-30, whether you got a shot or not. So we'll see. Mike Marin up next. Defending club champ. Can he hold on? We'll see. He's lost that in the trees right. Oh my, we'll see about that one. We were just talking about his shaft earlier, by the way, and he picked this shaft because he hits it straight and low. And well, there you go. Here goes Josh, also with the driver. That is primo. Wind's got it, and it is cutting. A little bit of a kick right. He is almost in the center. 
Hoping Derek and Lily are really enjoying the coverage. That one's also going to be drifting right to the trees. We'll see when we get up there. I don't know why. It's not looking good. Speaking of club championships, I happen to know who won the first club championship of all of our active members. It happens to be the guy standing next to me, Joey Tinsley, their 2013 club champion, OG club champion. And Joey, I've been asking this question to basically everybody. What is your personal best round of golf from the Blue Tees here at Balboa? 63. You heard that, 63, my man. The only number I've heard lower is none only than Sam Snead, and that's good company to have. That's on a different course. That's on a d totally different course. Really? Oh, yeah. I, well, I've been here since they changed the course, but I, I like the old course better. See, I'm so old and it's so long ago I can't even remember. It was just, seemed to be a lot easier, but it wasn't. But, you know, we love our new layout. It's beautiful. It's been, Who's going to play first here? Let's see, I think Mike. I think Mike's definitely away. I want to thank everybody for watching. Give a special shout out to my beautiful wife, Layla. Should be a fairly straightforward shot. He's wide open to a front pin. Even if you leave it a little short from there, it's still a birdie hole. But he's got a pretty easy shot. He's probably about 130 to 135 from where he's at. Probably got a nine iron, maybe even a pitch and wedge. We'll see, but it's a good shot from there. What do you think, Josh? What's your yardage? 124. 124, Josh has got. Wind is kind of swirling today, so it's kind of tricky. That's Balboa, though. It always swirls weirdly wow. up up here at the top. It does. There goes Mike. I think he does have a nine. It's off. Oh, he's missed it a little left and short, it looks like. Oh, no, sorry. That is long left. That's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. Down the, down the slope, side hill, breaking severely to his right. Quinn now has got about the same yardage. Little launching pad, that tree should not be a problem. Oh, that's going to be way short. Fat and short. I think we're in for a treat on this shot from Josh here. 124 pitch and wedge. Just cut it in there and spin it down. Ooh, that is a little long and left spinning just on the collar. Hmm. Let's go check out the putts. I'm here with Tom Oliver here, club president. Like myself, old injured can't play not that we could play Sorry, anymore never could yeah <laughs> shut up we're anxious to get tom back out here's keith and he's got some kind of shot just a pop over the trees there is it enough short left easy chip I see two up there that are pretty horrible. What do you think, Tom? You wish you were out here with us or uh, or with them? You know, I kind of like uh, riding in the cart this time. A little vacation? Yeah. Good job. Put yourself. How's how's the how's the club going as far as membership? Steve Barlett right now. Yeah. Got, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to play with some players and lose quite a bit of money? Come on out and join. These guys play for some real money out here sometimes. We got a request from Frakia. What do you want me to tell him, Lee? Just say hi to Mr. B. Frakia. Hello, Mr. B. Frakia. How did we play today? He has a new child, I think, so you play. Oh, congratulations on the new baby. Okay, looks like Josh is going to putt. Keithan is going to chip and should have a chance of holding this. Keithan's chip's going to go left to right down the slope. Pretty easy. Josh has got an uphill, side hill. 
Pretty difficult putt for speed. And Mike really has to watch the run out here. Still for a three, though. It's heading down. It is heading down. It is turning. Oh, what a great putt. Great putt. Good putt, Mike. All right. Josh here has got to get something going. He's got to get something going. No doubt about it. Mike taps in for an easy par. That's what you do with a bad tee shot. You make an easy par. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, great putt, great par. Staying patient, making those pars. Birdies will come. All right, Keith and now with a birdie chip. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he kind of fatted it. That's very surprising. Looks like he played the club a little too long there. Looks like he'll have about an eight foot putt left for par. Quinn now is putting his. Up the hill, breaking left. That's gonna be a five. This is gonna go right, right on him fairly quickly. So we'll see this a par putt. Very important for the kid. Oh, what a putt. Clutch save. Wow. That was not easy. Whew. 12th hole coming up. Wait, I have something coming in my ear. This hole being brought to you by Nona. Nona, Little Italy. Enjoy grandma style meals at Nona. All right, it's starting to get a little more important here, Mike, on the 12th. Little dog leg right. Sorry, the announcer has lost the ball. He's old. I can't report on it. Here goes Josh. He's going to pound one over that bunker. You want to feed him off the bunker here. Where did Mike go on his drive? Uh, I'm good. I, I think I'm just right at the bunker and it kind of kicked right. So okay, good. so Mike's good shape. Good shape. Here goes Keith in. That also looks good. Pounded over the bunker. Should feed right. Quinn's up. It's hard to see the balls off this tee. The left center of the fairway is key on this hole. Unless you're Chris Lawson or Paul, they just hit it over everything. How do you pronounce your name? Parker Quinn. Yeah, everybody, I mean, short right in the heart. Yeah, there's been a lot of those today. I mean, maybe we're a little tentative, but they do seem, I don't know, maybe a little bit slower. Maybe we should just hit it harder. Hit it harder and then have <laughs> it run away on your four feet. That's true, yeah. That's... Wait. Have we ever had a hole in one the last day out here? Bob almost last year. He, uh, he stuffed one. It's like a foot. 
just want to give a big shout out to Joey Tinsley on the microphone, getting great comments from the feed about the skill set of our announcer. Thank you, Joey, for volunteering. Are we getting good out. comments? Oh, yeah. There's got to be at least one or two in there that are very bad. Something along the lines of this announcer rocks. <laughs> okay. All right. Looks like Keith and just cleared the bunker. He's in a good spot. Depends on the lie. A lot of elephant grass where he's at. And if you know elephant grass, that's not good. But it looks pretty good. Looks really good. All right, let's see what he does. That was from 125. They've all hit some pretty good drives down here. We got Quinn dead center. What do you got, Quinn? About 110? 108. 108. Mike's also got about 108. Josh, he's about 115. Further left. That's a gravy shot for him. He's got to take advantage of it. I'll go. Okay. Hit it past the pin and spin it on down. Might be too far left. Uh, he's still got a good putt at it. Quinn now from 108. Oh, the wind's gonna get that and it's going towards the pin. Good shot, good shot, good good look at a birdie. All right. One of the leaders here. Oh, that's gonna be good if it's enough. It's a great shot. Great shot, under the hole. That was a little 10 feet. Uh, Josh has got a pretty good putt. What's up, Bradley Tuz? I haven't located Quinn's ball yet. Or, uh, We're doing great, man. <laughs> well, our boy Josh here's got a downhill, about 15 footer, down the slope. I think he's got about nine inches of break on his putt. Certainly doesn't break what you think. Quinn looks like he's got about seven feet up the hill. It's going to want to break left, but Coronado holds the putts up here. Keithan is chipping down the hill on Josh's putting line, so he should get a good read of what's going to happen here. You gotta watch the speed on these. Yeah, you see that? It doesn't really break. He just hit it that way. Josh's will break though. He's higher up on the slope and further back. So once again, I'm calling about seven inches maybe. He's really got to make one of these. There it is. And I think he's, oh Lord, you are never going to make those putts. Never, ever. Because they're short. Mm, that was dead center again. That makes about four for Josh that I've seen today so far. Mike's is going to want to go straight, I think. Overall, maybe a tiny bit left. It's straight. Josh, my friend, you left it short in the heart again. What do you got to say for yourself? 
<laughs> I got nothing, man. Okay. Come on, man. Stop messing around, bro. Quinn, for that birdie we're discussing, a lot of people think it wants to go left. It's going to hold up straight. I guess they just don't listen to the announcer. I know these greens like the back of my hand. And there's a par. Keithen now. One of the few guys that comes out here and uses aim point. Seems to be working for him a little bit. This is just no brainer, straight up the hill. Right in the back of the cup. Oh. That is a bogey. Now we welcome you to the par three, 13th. These guys are gonna have about a 130 yard shot today. Into the wind and off the left at the moment. You don't know when it's gonna change here. Looks like the pin's back today, blue pin. A little bit right on the slope. And the balls don't really spin back from the back fringe here. So you gotta be pretty precise. These guys today are generally gonna be hitting a pitching wedge or a nine iron, I would think. The wind feels like it's coming straight at us at the moment. Yeah, there's to the left of the pin, there's a slope. If you can get it about four feet up on that slope, it'll spin right and down. You got a chance for a one. First up's going to be our reigning club champ, Mike. I'd venture to say he has a nine iron. As he backs off. This hole's not a piece of cake like you would think. Oh, he's heading a little left of the slope. That is not. Oh, like I said, it is just plugged right in the back of the, the green there. He's going to have a semi-fast, difficult breaking putt down the slope. As you'll see here shortly, Josh now, he's a cutter of the ball, so. If he just works it right off of Mike's ball, should be pretty good. That is dead straight. Not that bad of a putt. It's going to be breaking hard left, though, on Quinn now. Looks to be going right at it. Get up, get up, get up. It's under the pin, he's gonna have about 25 feet straight up. All right, here goes Keithan. I just got word I was harassing the final group. I'm just doing my thing. All right, get it, wind. Wind didn't touch it. He's actually got a long uphill putt. It's gonna break steeply to the right. Let's go down and have a look, shall we? Here we go, let's take a look at these putts. Oh, Keithan's got a really nice roll at it, just up the hill, left to right. Mike's isn't as bad as I thought. Downhill. Left to right. Me, right. Josh's butt is gonna go left pretty hard. Gave it too much respect on the brake side. Should be an easy par. Quinn here is just straight uphill. Straight uphill going left, a little bit. Just a smooch. Oh, 
great putt, great putt. Just dropped in the left break a little bit at the end there, and it's a two. Keithan's ball's just gonna be like one or two balls out to the left. Firm, pretty easy putt. That's a good speed, and it died out. Didn't hit it, didn't hit it. Good par. Yeah, Mike's putt. Just a gentle roll down the slope. Breaking to the front of the green. This to extend the lead. Oh, and he's done it. He has done it. Never a doubt, never a doubt. Could he repeat at Balboa? Good par. What are you doing, Ryan? I'm here with Ryan, one of the competitors. Did you have a good tournament? You know, just finished shooting a smooth 76. Two over, two over. So, there's that. All right, teaser up on the 13th. 14th, par five, 512 yards today. All right, here goes Quinn. You know, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble seeing balls looking into the sun today, but we'll see. All right, here goes our leader. This, this kid, I'm with Tom, and he will not give up a lead. Am I right or wrong? He's tough. He's just tough. We'll see what he does here. I mean, you can be aggressive and go up the left, or you can take it up the right like Parker just did, which is safer. Or the middle, which is what he does a lot. He does that a lot. <laughs> no, he took Parker's line. He's up the right. Well, he's probably not going to reach in two, so why bother, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's two up. You know, I, I, I can't remember the last person who repeated here at the club. Can you help me, Tom? Uh, I think it was... was I can't it, think of his name. Was it Tom Willover? No, it wasn't, actually. Logan. Oh, Logan. Yeah, but how many did you win in a row, Tom? Just three, Joe. Just three. three. Okay, Logan just won two. Just two. So, yeah. <laughs> screw Logan. <laughs> okay, Josh has got to turn on some afterburners here. He fucking, he needs an email, uh, yeah. eagle here. Nice ball. Great ball. Yeah. Drawing down the pro line. That's a good start. That's a good start. Good race. Absolutely. What are you seeing in everyone's games today? I'm seeing Josh is, I think he's holding back a little bit for some reason. I, you know, you can't come out here and hold back. You've got to just play like you play. Don't be scared. I'm not saying he's scared, but he might be a little unaggressive. Hey, Ryan Cuff. There's Ryan, he had a great tournament. He's a great guy. He has fun. He does. Nope. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck's he scared of? He must have, he's not overlooking. Oh dude, look, he's on the last Oh yeah. Okay, Josh really mushed one down here. Yeah, but it, it held up. It held. Mine never does. Yeah, but yours is usually back here. At the very worst, he needs a, a birdie here. The very worst. Yeah, Mike's uh, Mike's just going to be laying up. Actually, he could cut a three wood up in there and get it pretty close. He's got a wood. He's going to cut it up into that wind. Trying to extend his lead to three. Go to the edge. 
Um, right edge is green. Left edge? Yeah. It's cutting. Possibly nip the tree. Well, he's got an iron in hand. Looks like he wants about a 60 yard shot coming in there. And that'll be just peachy. Okay, big Josh now. He needs a moment. He needs a moment. Be back. He's got to make something happen here. Be good. It's on there somewhere. We'll see in a minute. Keith and same exact yardage, left rough. Both these guys need to get on their horse. That's going left towards the mound. be a chip down to the hole. Actually, speaking of Mike Marin, he had a chance to play in the Tory Club Championship this year, or Balboa, and he knew which one to pick. He knows which is a better club, by far. Balboa rules all clubs. Anytime, anywhere. They used to hate playing this course in the city amateur, so they took it off their list. The scores would be much higher here than they were on Torrey South. So that tells you a little something about Balboa. I see one ball under the pin, straight up the hill. Is that you, Mike? It could be. I'm not sure. I hit it good. I called it. I did hit it good. I don't know where Josh went. I don't know. Where else could yours be? Mike had a great shot. He's got about 13 feet up the hill for Eagle. Quinn's got about 35 yards, just into a driveway going up to the hole here. No sweat. Should bite. No, left, no, no spin at all. Keithan's got a fairly straightforward chip here. Straight up into the slope, breaking away and to his right. Oh, he's hit a spinner. Oh, great shot. Great shot. That's going to be a four for him. Josh has found the back edge of the green. Josh has got what we like to call it Balboa in, in our games as a $10 putt here. Let's see what this is going to do. Josh has got a, I don't know, 40 footer downhill. It's going to go right on him. It's not that hard of a putt. Eventually will go right. A couple feet as it slows down. Ball's got to go. It's breaking, breaking, breaking. It's hard to leave that short, but these greens are a little on the slow side. He's got about seven feet left for a birdie. Quinn's got a wiggler here. Oh, just missed. Mike's just straight up the hill. It's going to be going to his right just a little bit. This is for a three. If he makes this, you could pretty much sew it up. Cancel the photographer for a new picture. I 
and he didn't hit it. Terrible putt. Easy birdie though. Boy, he's playing a solid, solid final round. That's what he does though. He just hangs around, hangs around. Then pounces like a puma. Josh now for his birdie four. And he's mm, missed it. Just a par. Holes left. 15, 16. Coming up. Swig of that. Is it cold? What, that styrofoam cup. We're, oh, yeah. Hoop. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's in the trees left. There's only one thing for Josh to do here. What is it? He's got to pipe it. And like we said, uh, you. you you got to go get Mike. He's not going to come back to you. Josh needs an eagle here. He needs an eagle there. He needs an eagle here. Mike, straight down the middle. Don't be too long. If you hit it too far here, you've got a tree problem. Oh, oh, Key then hit the top of the trees, caromed right in the left trees. Yeah, it did. Ooh, that's going to be difficult. It's going to have to hit something low, running through the trees, through the rocks. Here comes Big Josh now. He's, I bet you he's just a little bit angry. He's hit it good, but it's cutting. Uh oh. He's short. In the fairway short, wind got it and just killed it. And the leaders are off the tee on 15. So Lee Dub was given parole for this tournament and, and he will be suspended after today again? He is back to being suspended. You know, I really don't understand how somebody would get suspended from Balboa. <laughs> You have to behave nicely around here. Everybody thinks I'm like the worst guy here. <clears throat> but Joe has never been suspended from Balboa. Ever. The nerve of that man. Day's not over yet. Oh, yeah, well. You've been on some self-imposed exiles. Self-imposed? Yes. Did I mention this hole's being sponsored by Barbusa? Wait, no, Lala. Has anybody been to Lala? Josh, no? Is that the new one? Have you been to La La? I have not. It's right where the pet grooming shop was, right next door to Barbusa. Appetizing. You know, you used to be able to get it up over the trees from there, but obviously not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, he hit the last tree right back at you. You know, walking up on this 15th hole, I've, I've seen Tom hit one of the greatest bunker shots I've ever seen. Remember that? Downhill? I do downhill. I don't remember many of them, but that one I remember. Lightning fast green, downhill, downhill lie in the bunker, downhill to the pin, and he spun it to a gimme. Very impressive. Even for me, a gimme. Did, you did win that year, right? Yes. All right, what do we got? Mike's no problem, huh? I wouldn't think so. Mike's got like 80 yards. 75 maybe. Looks like he's going under the Bennett tree. Oh, he had room. He had room. It's got to go. That's a lot of people do that here. Leave it short. He's going to fire this right at the pin, I feel. And he did just that. Spin right and back. Come on. He's just flat the whole back nine. Not as fast. Goes key then. This is number three here. He's got so much rough in between him and the 
in the hole that makes this hard shot. Hit it in the pop bunker and bounce it up. There it goes. Still short. Ah, he's got a long par putt. Who's he battling with? He's got uh, Ned Jensen and Corey Cole. Corey Cole, what a tournament for him this week. What's Corey today? Is he, he was, he's around even, right? He's uh, plus two now. That'll run out on him. But he's had some great rounds. Good shot. <laughs> okay, Mike Marin, almost the center of the green. White pin. It's just an easy putt. Up a little hill, breaking a little left. He's in the catbird seat right now. When you get a look at Keaton's putt here, you'll see how far left this putt is actually going to break for Mike. Once it gets past that hole, it runs down and left. If you're enjoying this broadcast, please be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're as happy as I am with how well this man Joe Tinsley is doing on the microphone. I subscribe and like. Everybody should follow suit. Okay, you're going to see this putt. Send it out about a foot to the right. And then breaking sharply left and running away. Mike's is pretty much the same, but way easier, way easier. He's just gonna wanna get this in a little one foot circle. This guy does not change his demeanor. He doesn't talk. He's just here to do one thing. Defend. Defend his title and watch everybody come in and stare at the wall, hoping that they're up there someday. It's an elite wall. So once again, he's just gonna put this out about a foot to the right. Just need good speed. And that's all he needs. Tap in for. No stress. Now Josh caught the slope, went down left, off the green from the fringe. He's got an uphill putt moving to the right. I'm sure he's very disappointed with today. He's just flat, just flat, but it happens. The guy can smoke the ball. He's a great player, but it happens to everybody. It's once a year. It is once a year that you have to be at your best. It's down the hill fast. Oh, just off the edge. That'll be a four for Quinn. Should be just straight back of the cup for Josh here. Another par for Josh that he doesn't need. Key then here, what is this for? This is for bogey, same as Josh. Just ram it in, ram it in. There you go. That's a five. This is where it gets exciting, kids. Yes. 16. 16. Okay, the famous 16th hole. Look at that backdrop. Look at it. All right, Mike's just going to, I assume he's just going to aim at the tree here and want to miss it a little left and just run it. Nothing too crazy here. He's actually got an iron, so looks like a driving iron. He's just going to hook it down there in the middle. I doubt he's feeling any nerves at all. 
He's looking right. Where'd that go, Brian? Oh, he hit the fence. That could have been catastrophic. He is in play. It came off the fence. Well, you hit a low one. But you do need a little luck here at Balboa. Am I right, Brian? You're definitely right. Justice is served on that. That, that fence needs to help you out, not not let you go underneath it, sneak underneath I it. I think they should change the size of the holes in it <laughs> yeah. to Bigger. half inch. Oh yeah, yeah just hit back, just, just bank it, bank shots. Fuck it, just make it out of plywood. <laughs> okay, here comes Josh now. He's, he has parred the entire back nine. I don't even think he could tell you the last time he did that. That is grooved right down the middle. Probably left center of the fairway. Keith in now. Hey Lawson, don't feel so bad. Let's do a rundown of the leaderboard here. Alrighty, All right, you. how you doing, man? Good, good. Follow Joe. Total, I think two under. Yeah. Yeah. One under today. Oh, you came off the fence there, huh? Well, that's what you need sometimes, bro. Yeah. Okay, currently through 15, we have defending champ Mike Marin at minus two. Ed Jensen, plus seven. Corey Cole at plus seven. Quinn, Parker Quinn at plus seven. Past champs, Curtis. Damage and Chris Lawson at plus 10. Looks like Ethan shot his Paul safe. Rathbun at plus 11. Our master and savior, Bob Grossa at plus 12. Parker Hamilton at plus 12. Nick Frackia, 14. Ryan Cuff, 15. Stephen Dopkins, 15. Mike Bennett, 15. Wow. This is why you've got to keep your live scoring and golf genius updated so we can keep track of the leaders. We do know that Mike is minus, Mike Marin is minus two for sure though for the tournament. And he got extremely lucky here, hitting one into the fence with an iron. Now he's, he's got a window. He's just gotta hit a hook. He's gotta hit a hook, end up in the center of the fairway. Just don't do nothing too stupid. Josh? We gotta, we gotta make an eagle here, bud. Are you, are you even on the back nine? I mean, like I said earlier, you don't see that very often. When was the last time you were even through 16 on, on the back nine? Never. All right, here we go with Mike. He's gonna, uh, I think he's gonna go high here. He's gone high. Well executed. Left center of the fairway. Uh, got about one six. Nothing shabby at all about that. Smoke one. Gonna have a hybrid. Quinn, he's in the center. Also has an iron. Very high, the wind should get it. Oh, he hit the cart path twice. We hope it goes left from there. Okay, you heard it, Josh. We'll do anything for an eagle here within legal limits. He'll be waiting, I'm gonna go up to the leader's golf ball. That was really a pretty good layup by Mike. You have OB right a tree right in front of you. And he got it up and over with a little hook. It's perfect. Mike is right on the 157 sprinkler here. Gonna have a routine, I don't know, eight iron, 
Maybe a little seven in there. We'll see. The pin today is blue center. Blue means back. Josh is ready to fire away here. Quinn's ball is fine. Right before the preacher's bunker, left of the cart path. Updated scoring report, Mike minus two. Key the Josh plus two. I didn't see where Josh ended up. We'll see in a minute. Once again, the wind is down and coming off the right. It might be playing that 157 for Mike, even though it's a back pin. Probably 167 playing 55, something like that. How'd you do, Josh? Went down and off the right, right? Looks like a seven iron. Oh, he's pulled it. The wind's got it. That's going to be back left at best. Beautiful shot, Mike. Left side. Ten feet left. How'd that feel, Mike? Yeah, that was pretty good. To get over this hole, for sure. So I don't have to play it again. I don't have to hit these three shots again. How's your stress right now? It seems pretty chill. Pretty chill. Playing great, Mike. Thanks. Keith on the 144 sprinkler head. Right side of the green trying to turn over. Looks to be pin high. Okay. What's up? I'm here with Keith. Hey, Everybody wants to know your story. Where are you from? All right. I'm from Orange County. I uh, lived in San Diego for four years now. Played here a lot when I lived in North Park. First three years I moved here. Now I'm in Claremont. Oh, uh, Claremont. I bought a house recently. Yeah. Nice spot. Um, and you're 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 fresh off the amateur? Yeah, uh, that was a great experience. So I'm 29 now. It's the 11th time I've tried to qualify, so it's cool to go. Kind of felt like a once in a lifetime, and it probably was. But the is that the the mid or the the, the US. US the US? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to qualify for the mid tomorrow. So how did you do overall? I actually didn't play that bad, but I got 300th place out of 312. So. Well, yeah, but you got to go through a lot of stuff. Yes, uh, qualifying was like two stages, and yeah, was, just yeah. to qualify is is good feat, right? It was it was good, yeah. A lot of a lot of young guys, a lot of like longer hitters. And so oh yeah, I, I putted really well just to get in. Oh. And then the whole yeah, the real tournament was like the treat was at Hazelstein, and my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend came. So oh, that's a good great. time. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, that's a big accomplishment. Just getting just qualifying for that. Appreciate so. it. Appreciate it. The kids are getting longer and better every single day. They sure are. But hey, Mike doesn't hit it long. He's he's great, so you don't need to. Oh no, Mike is Mike is very solid. Yeah. He's been playing tournaments for years. He he has no he has no nerves. He didn't stay up. Josh has got a pretty easy flip over the bunker. It's going to roll up and to the left of the pin. Downwind and off the right. A little hinge and hold here. He's pretty good at these shots, so I'm looking for this to be within six feet. And he got the announcer curse right there. That is like rare. It's rare. I hate to see that. Mike, 15 feet left. Great shot. He shouldn't have any problem getting this to the hole here. 
just a little bit of slope and a little bit of break. And he gets to watch Quinn's ball. Down the little hill, a little left to right. Josh rolled out his approach there, so he'll have 20 feet per par. Keith in his pin high on the fringe. He's gonna break to the front of the green, along with Mike's. Parker's got a chip shot right over Mike's coin here, so he'll get a pretty good read on what it's gonna do, if he doesn't know already. Oh, he's putting it. Eh, not a bad play. That's a great speed right there. I cannot believe that is short. Boy, these greens are slow today. Mike should have got a lot of a lot of good read on that. Keith, and now as I said, it's going to break to the front of the green. He's pretty much aiming at Parker's coin right now. So Did he hit it? Another one short. Boy, these guys expected a lot more speed out of these greens today, I tell you that. Next up, Josh for the par. Right now he's got third locked up. And that, oh, he's got about four footer coming back. Mike's, Mike's putt here is just, it's routine. It's no stress. Very makeable. Perfect speed. Easy par. That's all he needs. Easy par. That's a bogey for Josh. Putting him to plus three for the tournament. And Mike, minus two. Going to the 17th. And that's a good up and down right there. Coming over the top to the beautiful 17th. Front red pin. Should be playing with the slope today at probably 170, 165. Maybe a little shorter with that front pin. Generally though, you can miss it right. It'll roll down the hill and onto the green and up to the pin. A lot of people play it like that. Predominantly playing down. Mike's probably got no more than a seven iron here. What do you think, Tom? Well, I think it's gonna be right of the pin. Yeah, you miss it right, you just go down the slope onto the green, right? That's it. The only thing you can't do is hit it left. That's no good here. <laughs> it is not good here. Yeah, I expect this to be a little, little short, little right. Going right at it. Started out a little right. Okay. Anybody got a scope? Solid shot, though. Looks like yeah. it's going to be right in the middle of the green. Mike is just all about tournaments, though. He's been playing tournaments for years. He does not get nervous. Never. Lily, I just got word that your dad is bringing you home a treat of some sort. Uh, right underneath. Got himself about four or five feet. That's a good shot. Good shot. He's trying to get that to come around and run down the slope. Okay. 
Ethan now. We heard his story previously. Ah, man, oh, he pulled it. That should be back part of the green left, maybe if he's lucky. It might be in the little grass bunk. It's actually short of it. Short of the little bunk. Boy, he goes after it easy, doesn't he? Is this you? Joey. Hi. Uh oh, look Hi. at these, they're filling up typically this time. I hear you're doing a great job with the broadcast. What? Broadcast. I don't know. I, I watched a little bit. Um, Does it sound good? Yeah, apparently. I haven't listened, but I will listen. Yeah, you're a pro. Maybe that's your next career. Oh, you retired from golf and commentary, right? Yeah. Okay, Josh, up the hill. Keithan is in the pot bunker, short of it. Fairly easy up and down normally. Parker, center of the green, back, about 25 feet. Josh got a pretty straight putt up the hill. And he kind of chunked it. He'll have a par putt from the fringe. We have Tom, the men's club president. He's going to run out there and measure. Make sure Josh gets that money for the closest two. Don't forget, folks. Aside from the money, there's a side fund here that's paying the winner $750 for the win all the way down to sixth place getting, I believe, a hundred bucks. So there is a few hundred bucks at play here. And of course the belt. Parker straight down the hill, it's gonna wanna go to the right. Oh no. Easy three. Easy three. Mike is pretty much on the same line. It's a pretty easy putt. It's just like a ball out to the left. Ball out to the left, it's just gonna die to the right. All you need is the speed. Oh, and he pushed it from the start. Easy par. We have a timeout from the game. President is going to measure. I hate to bug Mike here, but yeah. good par. <laughs> Thanks. This is going to go, want to go right, but it doesn't go right. Good putt. There's his first birdie of the back nine. All about the skins, baby. Here we go, folks. Tees are up. The tees are up. White pin, center of the green. Looks like he's pulling the driving iron again. We do have two bottles of champagne stored up side. You can't crack them yet. Did you ever, I was noticing today how flat Josh's driver is. Did you ever notice that? That thing is so flat. Look at that. That's how he gets that nice cut. A little more, baby. Come on. A little more. Okay, this is this is it for Mike. Probably got a five iron. Four iron, five iron. That's all you need. You just come out of that rough a little bit. Oh, there it is. And it is painted down the center. The only kick you got all day. Parker here has been playing pretty solid all day. Yeah, buddy. And that is Go. Primo hey. right down the middle. Catch it, Lawson. Big old titties. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. And we got Keithan, finally. Yeah, you just got to stay away. 
Uh-oh. That needs a big kick out. A big kick out. We're going to walk up with Mike, who just painted that. What was that, Mike? Five, four? Four, four iron, yeah. Four iron, right down the center, just painted. Solid. Yeah, I know everyone wants to hit driver, but I'm not going to do it with a lead. Nope. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks. <laughs> exactly. He, he actually just does not want another pitcher up next to his this year. <laughs> exactly. My feeling is, I agree, there will be a blank space. <laughs> Mike, did I hear you elected to play our tournament instead of the Torrey Pines tournament? That's true, yeah, they end today, so I had to choose this one or the Torrey Pines one. And, and you won Torrey Pines last year? No, no, uh, Nick Neal won last year. Okay, the year before? So, I won the year before, yeah. But you, you chose the Balboa Park Club Championship over the Torrey Pines yeah. Club Championship? I did, yeah, I mean, I was defending here, and, you know, I mean, this is a lot of fun. I it's, like Torrey, too. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> Well, Mike, we are real proud to have you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you're a class act, man. Thanks. Just yet another solid player at Balboa. Come try and get some. Join up, get some. And don't forget the side cash. I don't even think you're allowed to gamble at Tory, are you? We'll stay away from Mike. Let him finish. Looks like he's right on the hundo. Probably playing, probably 110 up the hill. I don't think anybody doubted him not playing solid today. Yeah. How are those stints holding up? <laughs> okay, I think he's got 110 yards. And there's 750 in the bag. Great shot, hey. great shot. Mike. Hey, Mike. Big, Do you like Mike? Good shot. This hole, this hole's open? Said skid. <laughs> Did somebody oh, say skid? <laughs> Let's go up and see where Mike is, but that's that's close. There would be no new pitcher on the wall this year. Oh, oh, he went a little long. Found it. But I'll take a win and no skins. Man, I'm so tired. <laughs> I think it's the last year I walked this course three days. And look at this sea of people. Here we go. I failed to mention this hole also being sponsored by Lala Little Italy. That's Lala. Fire. Mike Marin, as usual, has been just a rock. He is the most boring, oh. awesome golfer. <laughs> I don't think we got a chance to talk to Joey B today. He really is. He's the man. He's Owner of Lala, Barbusa, and Nona at Little Italy. How'd you play today, Joey? It was a tough course today. The wind was howling. The greens were fast, but uh, we're gonna hold on for one second while he hits his shot here. Mr. Parker had a great turnout. Oh, wow, look at this. Quinn just plays some great golf, nice and steady. I got a chance to play with him the first couple rounds and um, he just hits the ball great. Stone cold, just nice and nice and calm out there. How did we do, how did we end up in the, in the cash game, the side game? You want to run through that? Yeah, we got some great action going on on a little side game we have here. Oh, wow, look at this, get in the hole. Oh, wow, hits it to about six inches here. Yeah, so we had a great matchup um, between a few guys out here on the course. Um, Hopefully some folks are going to win some money. Unfortunately, the um, some of the people who are up in the lead didn't get a chance to enter. They either chickened out or um, didn't want to um, get into the game. But overall, it's been a great day out here. Lala has been the title sponsor of this event, and um, we're glad to be it, and hopefully we can do it every year going forward. Well, Mike... Mike uh, Marin did inform us that he did pay the hundred dollars. Now he will be collecting seven fifty. Josh here, very disappointing back nine on this final round. He is he is red eye mad about how he's played. And then on top of that, he's got to hit a shot that you cannot stop. How did uh, how did Paul Rathbun end up? 15 over, I believe. Is that it? 
11. 11? 11, Paul. Okay. 11. Sorry. What about Chris? Chris, Chris finished 13. Generally, the last day, if you're not in it, people don't really care, so you see a little higher scores. I really hope they change the date again next year so we can all practice really hard. I heard you mentioning some plywood installations on 16. It's a great idea. Well, we, we also have Chris Lawson doing a hell of a job for San Diego, keeping crime out of, off the street. He's had some heavy trials, and here goes Mike. Drifting right. And I think he'll mark that and just soak it all in again. Soak it in. Very solid. The kid is solid. This is par, right? Straight up. There you go. There you go. Let's go, Josh! Good putt, Josh. Thanks. We really thought this was his year. There's one guy in the club that did bet against him, though, and has won that bet. And that is me. <laughs> he just pulled that. So open, let's go over the final leaderboard here. So we got the champ at minus two, Keith and that puts Josh into second place money in the side action. Mike with the aim point. Take your time. Yeah. And there they go. Good job, Mike. Good job, Mikey. That's two showers in a row. Mike, you were off. Thank you. Ruben Champ. Ruben Champ. It's uh, it's crazy. It was, I had a lot of anxiety on the first like six bowls. Like it was ugly. Like, thanks, Joe. And uh, I just kind of like once I got through six, I just kind of relaxed and just played. And yeah, to win this thing twice, it's incredible. Like shoot in, you just play in the U.S. Amateur. Uh, Josh, he was, I feel like, the guy to beat, shooting like 67 out here all the time. There was one it. person who predicted a back-to-back -back win, though. Besides him, I think <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I did. I did pick that. Hey, man, a really great championship. Thank you. Well deserved. I just want to give a big shout out to Joey Tinsley. My man rocked the microphone the only way we walk. know how. Damn, man, you did so good. All I heard was how great his commentary was. Personally, I want to go hear it. I haven't, I wasn't able to listen to it. I absolutely do. I'm sure it'll turn out. JVD, man, you had a What's great, up? great tournament, man. It was a pleasure watching you, man. I know, I know you didn't quite get where you wanted, but it was so much fun to be here with you, man. It was great. Uh, Mike is a stud, great player. He's tough to catch, doesn't make any mistakes. And if you don't make any putts, he's gonna win the tournament every time. Absolutely. Good playing. Thanks, Good Thanks, bro. Thank you all for watching. This is Josh Wins 13, the 90th consecutive club championship, a world record, or at least a record for Southern California. Congrats to our 2024 champion, Michael Marin. We make our championship walk up the 18th. What's up, Ryan? How you doing? You know, better than yesterday. Maybe one shot better, maybe two. And here's Ned Jensen, the only man we know to have actually hit three eagles in one round here at Balboa. <laughs> How did that feel, dude? It was an awesome day, man. That was awesome. To shoot even with the roller coaster round. It sure was, man. That was, was a heck of a round. Back to back eagles. Not going to talk about the next hole, but back to back eagles was fantastic. It was a fun weekend. Man, well, well played and congrats, man, for making this event as awesome as it's been. Joey 
Busilaki, man. Hey, man, you had a pretty good tournament, too. I know you wanted to win, but hey, man, you were solid all weekend long, man. There were some tough golfers out there, tough course. What can you do? It's always next year, but you guys did a great job, and uh, congratulations to Mike. Mike's a great, great champion, and, and there are still only two champions in the last three years, and we're looking at one of them right now. Kurt Gamage, he validated. Wearing, wearing the jersey to prove it. I think he had one of the best rounds today, to be honest with you. I think he was uh, one over, were you today? Oh, one over on the day, no, which I think was, uh, yeah, exactly. He was one over on the day, and I think uh, the low was probably Marin today, correct? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, so, but this is a very solid round, and uh, can't wait to get back at it next year. But, uh, great course, great production yeah, by Josh. We appreciate you, Josh. Josh, let, let, us, let us get you. Yo, this is Josh Wins 13. Thank you for watching, man. This has been the greatest tournament ever, the quality the announcers thank you to my man joe tinsley our og champion and you, i've been asking everybody what their best score here was at balboa and you know who had the lowest my man joey t with his 63. hey on behalf of the balboa park golf club congratulations mike Marin. and i can't it cannot be overstated he literally chose our tournament over tory pines his own club championship and that speaks volumes, not just about this golf course, but about the community that we have created here in the Balboa Park Golf Club. Thank you all. And don't forget to check out Barbosa's if you're hungry. By the way, the low score at Torrey was nine under through two days. So I think that's <laughs> the right decision. Who, who shot that? Any idea? Uh, yeah, is he like the, the guy who always wins it there? And also a big shout out to the awesome crew here at the Balboa Park Golf Course keeping the events running like a, like absolutely smooth. The golf course is in spectacular shape. The greens were perfect. Big thank you to all those hardworking dudes that help us make this golf event so fantastic. Also, remember, if you are a member of the Balboa Park Men's Club, you get 10% off all merchandise at the Pro Shop. All you gotta do is say you're part of the Balboa Park Men's Club. Thank you for watching. This is Josh Wins 13 and I'm out.